Hey y'all, today I've got a tip to help you stop losing fish and to help you catch just so much more fish. And it's just one simple little thing. And it's not what you think. Stay tuned. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, so a problem that I've noticed between the last year and right now is that I keep missing little bites. And I don't know what it is, it's probably smaller fish. So what I've done to address this is I've started to downsize my rods, downsize my sinkers, and downsize my hook sizes. This has really allowed me to just catch a lot more fish. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, most of the time I cast out a big hook, I get peck, 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 no more bait, no fish. Last year, I've been, I was using size two aught hooks like this. This was getting me a lot of fish, but I was also missing a lot of fish. Now, this year, I have downsized to just size two. And look at the difference. It's a subtle difference. Size two, size two aught right here, two zero. Size two, size two zero. This, the fact that it's so small allows smaller fish with smaller mouths to really get hooked. Now, not just small fish. I'm catching big fish and everything in between. Just using a smaller bait, smaller hook. So today I'm out here with my dad. I'm out here with our friend Cassidy. And the goal is to not miss any fish. Let's just catch everything that's biting. Now, they don't really get to go out fishing as much as they want to. We get to fish anytime we want because this is part of our careers. But people who don't get to fish all the time, it's really, really important to them that they catch fish when they get there, not waste their time on nothing. So my first rig here is a Carolina rig. We call it our mini sure catch. We've got a tiny little hook like this attached to 15 pound line, and I use a snail knot to tie it on. I've got about a one foot of it. Then I've got a two-way swivel. This swivel, when anything spins in the surf, it won't get everything tangled up. It keeps it tangle free. And then we put a egg sinker on here so it slides. This is killer on the surf. And I'm actually using it on a six foot rod, a very short rod. And you think when you go to the surf, you want to have a really long surf rod. That's true in some cases, but a lot of times using a small rod and small gear like this, you'll end up catching just a lot more fish. The next rig I'm using is a high-low rig. This is our catch-all rig. We tie these with small hooks just like this, and there's two hooks. This will allow you to catch two fish at a time. Now the fact that I've got two little baits drifting in the water, it just catches a lot more fish. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna go catch some ghost shrimp. Ghost shrimp are just very plentiful in the area, and the fish here love it. With these small hooks, Hopefully they're small enough to fit in the mouth and hook whatever we, we, we find. Let's get fishing. It smells like low tide. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many little holes everywhere. Do they bite? Yeah. They pinch and they're weird looking. Nothing. Oh, right there! Oh, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> I don't want to touch it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need something to contain this. We don't have a bucket, we forgot a bucket. Ah. Put it in your pocket! No. Oh, oh right there! What the heck? It looks so... Appetizing, huh? I wasn't trying to eat them. <laughs> they don't bite that hard. Okay. They're just soft. Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That freaks me out. Me I don't know why. Thank you. They're not being in the bottom oh, of the earth. You got you half of it. Break them places. Oh, you put it. You it. <laughs> right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Look at that. Look at that claw. Wow, deep. You gotta give it to the man holding them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that one's full of eggs. Literally same. Here, Dad, right here. Got one. Oh, sorry to disturb you. Right here. To bring some wasabi and soy sauce. Try to eat You have enough to start fishing now, at least. Yeah, we definitely have enough to fish. <laughs> That's a fat look. You're not gonna bite. Ooh. See these hooks? See how small they are? This will allow fish with smaller mouths to get hooked a lot easier. And what you want to do is not use too big of a piece of bait. Just a little piece of bait works. Oh, he's on already. Good for meatball, a fish ball actually. Little piece of bait. This is just half of a ghost shrimp. And then I'm gonna use this bait elastic here to keep the bait on the actual hook. And we're just gonna wrap it like maybe 10 to 20 times. And this bait elastic will keep it from flying off the hook, from little fish pecking it off. So the real trick here is using a small piece of bait, a small hook, so that fish with smaller mouths can get hooked as well. A lot of times the problem is the fish that are biting your bait their mouths are really small and you don't you continue to miss the fish because your hooks are way too big so when I downsize my hooks I end up catching a lot more fish and we just sit it down and wait I'll do this one then I think it's got a bite already look 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 oh I'm on already Woo! oh there's fish busting everywhere there's fish busting everywhere out there Cassidy, come on! Are those fish busting? Yeah, they're fish busting right away. Holy crap! Oh, two! We got two at once! Do it once. That was fast. They're busting fast. Go toss it out there. Wow. This is a big one too. Wow. Huge ones. Big fish biting a small piece. Yeah. So you see, little hooks can catch big fish. You just need to have a smaller presentation. Yeah, this bait elastic is what really holds it on so well. So, so cool. Without this, it comes off when you cast it. Now this rig right here, we have these um, painted floats that look like the eggs of the ghost shrimp. Now we have all these rigs on sale on our website. If you want to just get to the beach and start catching fish. Now here's my secret weapon. This small hook, this is called a J-hook, right? This works well because it's so small, it's so lightweight that fish can't see the hook. And you can put a small piece of bait on here. It's very inconspicuous. Just one slurp and it's done. Do you need the bait elastic? Yeah. Show me how to do it and I'll do the next okay, one. Okay, so we're gonna hold the, the line like this uh -huh. and then we're just gonna wrap it like okay. that. Wow. And it just breaks off? Yep, and then you just snap it off like that. All right, let me try this. All right, so this rig, it only has a little egg sinker, a little hook, and then we call this the mini sure catch. Whoa, already? I don't know. Dad caught 
Two Whoa, two groupers. Wow. Look like a charm. These small hooks work so well because you hook everything. Oh! Oh, Jack! You see? Small hooks, they catch literally every kind of fish. This is the fourth species of fish right here. This is a jack. So you don't want to actually cast too far. They're actually right at the first wave right here. Everything I'm catching is right on the first wave. And a common misconception is you have to cast as far as you can. They're right here. And all I have to do is just loft it. Look. So I've got two little small pieces of bait on here, right? See how small that is? See how small that is? And I'm just launching it right there, close in. Hey! Holy shit, Captain, how's yours? This was a tiny little mini shore catch. Again, small hook. Yeah. Perfect little whiting. Mama wants some fish tacos for dinner. So I'm gonna save some of these to make some fish tacos tonight. Fighting. See, I'm using size one hooks here. These are tiny hooks. And I'm catching all sorts of fish, big, small, everything in between. I haven't missed the, I really haven't missed any fish this entire time. You were right. This was on a little hook, on a little light setup on, on my rod. I've got 10 pound line on here. And you know, typically I use bigger rods on the surf, but I've found lately that when I use smaller hooks, smaller line, lighter stuff, I catch a lot more fish. This is something I want you guys to try when you're getting, when you're getting back out on the water. Use lighter lines, smaller hooks, smaller sinkers, and just really pay attention because you'll get a lot more bites 
and you'll end up landing a lot more fish. This saves money on bait, this saves time on fishing, and you'll end up just catching a lot more fish. So I got some fresh shrimp here. I'm just gonna use a little piece like this. Hooked through twice, you see how small that piece is? Really just a tiny piece. And then I'm gonna use my bait elastic. And that little piece of bait is enough. I'll catch fish just like this. This is a uh, six foot rod with 10 pound line tied onto a sure catch rig, a mini sure catch rig. I sell these on my website. They're already pre-tied or you can tie it up yourself. It's so simple. Now with this one, I'm less inclined to just leave it because it rolls around, but that rolling around action makes it very natural. All the fish, they see, all they see is a bait drifting to the left or whichever direction the tide is pushing it. And when I feel a couple of bumps, I set the hook and the bite is on. Nice job. Ooh, we might have to go back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to move back. Maybe we can move left and back. Yeah, left and back too. Hey, Aaron, that first one. Yeah. Give me that rod. I know. Ladyfish are jumping out of the water, babe. Oh, go run! Get it! Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gone, both gone. Oh my god. Holy cat! Holy crap, that's a big one! Oh, I'm getting tired just playing it in. Oh, too many fish? Yeah. Whoa, it's a big lady! When you grab this fish, grab like you mean it. Get it like a torpedo. Good fish ball. Oh yeah, whiting. That's perfect. Again, tiny hook. You don't have time to tie any ray, really. You, if you have a snap, you don't have time to tie. I know, they're non-stop, so you really just want them already tied up. So if it does snap off, you just tie another one right back Bam, on. Yeah. Look, how are you gonna tie anything? It's crazy. You have to worry yeah. about the bikes, you have to worry about all this other stuff. You only can use one rod, one person. That's yeah. you know. Come on. You don't have time for that. Yeah. I had to stop you know? using my other rod. Hey, what I'm using is just this. The egg sinker, okay. a little mini small hook like this, small bait. Oh, okay. Every time I cast it, I get fish. 
Cool. Just cast it right there. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's okay. easy. You should try this one. Cast it out there and you hold it. The dead shrimp, elephant fighting. <laughs> yes. So it's been pretty much non-stop action. When you use little small hooks like this and little light tackle, you'll catch small, medium, big, everything in between. Now, sure, if you want to go and target really big fish, use your big hooks. But if you want to just get out there, just start catching fish, have non-stop action, especially if you're with, you know, your wife, your girlfriend, kids, you want to get on fish right away. If you want to do that, you got to use these smaller hooks. You got to use a lighter line because you end up just catching everything. And something that's really important for beginners is you got to start catching fish. Beginners get bored really, really quickly. And if you're trying to get someone into fishing, you got to get them on fish right away. Being here and tying up rigs and continually tying up rigs or just not catching anything is not the way to go. If you want to tie up a bunch of your own rigs before you come using these smaller hooks, I have plenty of tutorials to show you how to tie it up. Or you could just buy the pre-tied rigs that I sell. I've got so many of them and I tie them just for you guys with my exact hook size, my exact line size, everything you need. Just come to the beach, come, go to your fishing spot, tie it on and you're ready to go. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Go get it. Oh yeah. inches? Yeah, 12. Small friend. Okay. This method is especially good for people who, who just don't have time to come out and, and not catch anything. If you really just want to start catching fish, use smaller hooks, use smaller tackle like this, and you'll catch all sorts of things. Big, small, everything in between. And like the old saying goes, elephants do eat peanuts. Mm -hmm. So I've caught all sorts of fish, big and small, using these little tiny baits like this. And also, another thing is when you use really light tackle, it just feels a lot bigger. It's a lot more fun to reel it in. Just more action. And this light, oh, it got bitten off. Hey, you got bitten off, Dad? That's why I have these pre-tied rigs, because if it gets bitten off, you just retie it really quickly. taking over the camera because I cannot run fast enough. No fish! Let's go fish in! We got a fish on! Woohoo! Fishy, fishy! <laughs> yeah, buddy! What can it be? Woo! Oh, dang! Good job! This is Cassidy's rock. <laughs> Wow, that was non-stop action. I put everyone here to work. It was non-stop fish. I don't think we missed a single fish. I really don't think we missed a single fish. Every bite we got, we hooked it up. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. 
I see too many people out there using really big hooks, not getting enough fish and saying, well, I'm not good at fishing, I'm not gonna do it anymore. That's just not true. You need to keep practicing. This is a learning experience. And for me, I'm continually learning every single day I'm out here. Last year, I was using bigger hooks. This year, I'm using smaller hooks and catching a lot more. But last year, I thought I was really good at fishing. This year, I'm even better. So it's a continual learning process. There's just never, it's a never ending learning journey. And I wanna encourage you to get into fishing and just start learning and learning more about this natural environment, learning how to catch your own fish. It's just so fun. Something I wanna stress is that when you catch fish, you don't wanna keep every single thing you catch. You wanna keep the right size, make sure it's in regulation. If you catch a massive, huge breeder fish, these are the huge fish that make more babies. If you catch a huge one, consider letting it go. What I like to do is keep the moderate sized ones to eat, let go the baby ones, let go the big mama ones, because you want the babies to grow and you want the mamas to make more fish for you to catch. This is why America has the best fishery ever, because we have regulations. Whereas places like China, places like Philippines, Hawaii, a lot of other places, they don't have the same kind of regulations and their fisheries are drying up. I think it's so important for you guys to really consider letting some fish go. Us fishermen, we are the ones who make the most impact when, we, when it comes to conservation and it comes to preserving the fishery. So it's our responsibility to continue releasing these big fish and to continue following these regulations. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I learned a lot today. I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you next week.